Hello folks, Glenn Martinez here from Olamata Gardens. We're at www.olamatagardens.com. This is our backyard here at Olamata Gardens and what we want to show you is a little air pump that we have hooked up to a 55 gallon aquarium. It pumps up the water from the aquarium that you see here underneath it. This is our aquarium here, 55 gallon. We pump the water up using air, air rates, it comes to here. This is our biofilter. We happen to use Big Island Cinder, but you could use clay balls, whatever. Notice we have a false bottom in it here. Now, notice the water is filled up to here, if you can see that in the lighting, right to here. And that happens to be the overflow pipe. And this is one of my buddy Murray Hallam's, one of his bell siphons he taught me how to build, which is just a, basically an airtight compartment and I come out the top and come over and this is my air brake and it goes down to the bottom. So when she runs, this level sets it to start. That level is to there. So we use a barrel outside of our cinder bed. This is important folks because if I come up here and I turn, I have this open right now just so it's continuing to let air come in so that it won't go off until we're ready to. Because what I want to show you is that this barrel controls this cinder bed or biofilter and when I turn it on, it's going to drain it down to our T siphon. Now I was taught to put a 90 degree on the bottom, but I've since changed my ways and I put a T. Notice the T lets the water fall into there and it really bubbles up. Now that's going to come over, go to our signature 245s that we do here at Olamata Garden. This I can turn it to a sweet angle and get it where the air can come out and can't get back in so I can trigger the siphon to go. Comes to here, this is my air relief, lets it off. After this, I own the water. Now this water's falling down and falls into a venturi here. Notice the aeration I get there, guys. I get this on overflow, okay? All right, and this venturi gets its air from here. So here you come, water falling in. Now I'm gonna reach up and I'm gonna close this air valve here. When I close the air valve, boom, here. Wow, watch what's gonna happen. We're gonna come down here. Wow, it's all gonna speed up. All the air is gonna get sucked out. Siphon's gonna start sucking down. We're gonna get even more bubbles. Lots and lots and lots more bubbles. You probably wanna know well, how many bubbles. A whole peapot full of bubbles. So how's this, guys? It works, folks. Now, notice our siphon is getting down to the bottom end here. We're approaching our air brake. When we get down to here, notice I will have drained this all the way down. I want to drain it down to the false bottom before I break. Notice when I break, it'll break down here, below there, and that will shut it off. Now, come on, folks. This is the end of the siphon, so it slows down a little bit slower at the end than it was at the beginning. But I have that for it. Boom, we got our air brake, okay? Got our air brake, and now she's starting to fill back up again. That should keep you up tonight thinking about this one. www.olamontagardens.com